4. Timelessness and the Ultimate Ensemble If the universe had the least amount of entropy at its beginning, and Schrodinger described life as a unique process which creates negative entropy, does that mean that in a sense he thought the universe was the most alive back at its beginning? Kevin Giorbrand's remarkable insight in his book Everything Forever was that we're not moving from low entropy to high entropy with our arrow of time. Instead, we're moving from a high grouping order to a high symmetry order. I like this because it allows for a way to imagine a universal creative force which expresses itself throughout the world line of the universe, and which makes sense when we view our universe as a single data set from a timeless perspective. From our own vantage point, then, both time and anti-time represent the same thing, a naturally occurring return to balance. Ultimately, our universe or any other arises from a breaking of symmetry, and outside of this system is a return to the underlying fabric of reality, the unobserved tenth dimension, the ultimate ensemble, the Tyardian omega point, the Gödelian outside the system, the computational underpinnings behind digital physics, or Tegmark's mathematical universe hypothesis, ultimate enlightenment, or the omniverse. And that's what we're visualizing with every single dimension in this project. How can we perceive any dimension from outside of itself, from the truest perspective, which is timelessness? The video for Imagining the Ninth Dimension provides one way of thinking about this. It shows how each dimension, perceived in its entirety as a single timeless point, becomes a point on the surface of a finite but unbounded hypersphere in the next dimension. Physicist and author Frank Wilczek recently put forth two papers which add a very interesting spin on this idea of extra-dimensional patterns that reside within a timeless whole as well. Wilczek proposes that just as there are naturally emerging crystal structures in the third dimension, this same effect could be happening within what he calls time crystals as well. Does a phrase like time crystals sound like science fiction? You bet it does. But Frank Wilczek is a Nobel Prize winning physicist, so we should take a serious look at this creative new idea. And speaking of novel approaches to visualizing reality, next entry is going to be called Psychedelics and Surprises. <laughs>